Look at these little dudes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna run it over one of these days. Little nerds. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Lincoln back with another Rev Up video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the last one. If you didn't happen to see the last one, go check it out. I'll link it up in that corner maybe. But that video was us unboxing this bad boy. Well, me unboxing it. And then me and Billy kind of messed around, had some buddies come over, messed around some more, got a little crazy, but it was a good time. In today's video, we are gonna be doing the break in oil change on this guy. That's not oil oil change, it's just uh, the gear oil. Uh, Talaria recommends around, they're in kilometers, I think it's like 300 kilometers to do break-in, so that's like somewhere around 180-ish. I'm a little over, I've been having a little fun, but today we're gonna be doing that. Super easy stuff, just take a skip plate off, take a cover off, drain it, fill it up. So, should be a quick video maybe. So, as I said guys, super easy stuff. We're just gonna take the skip plate off, take this cover off, get it to the gearbox, drain it, do all that. So I'll set you guys up on a little tripod and I'll get taking crap off. Oh, Jesus. It's easy as that. All right, skid plates off. Now just for this little cover here, two little bolts on the, the bottom and kind of hiding up top. All right, fellas, before we start actually pouring in, oh, draining the oil, then pouring in, uh, I want to talk about two things. So number one, uh, Talaria is nice enough to give you the 85 weight 90 gear oil. Some people prefer 80, 90. I don't really care. This is free, so I'm going to use it. And it were, uh, Talaria calls for 75 to 90 milliliters uh, to fill it up. This is 90, so that's pretty cool. We'll see if it actually takes it or not. But also what I'm curious about is, so the breather tubes for the gearboxes, I'll show you quick. Hopefully you can see it, it might be a little dark. But we got a little, little breather tube coming out, going all the way up. And then mine actually, oh my God, there ain't no way, ain't no way in heck you can see that right now. Oh my God, you can kind of see it. Mine has a little plastic tip on top of it. So what I've seen before is, uh, like previous years didn't have that and when people do their oil changes the oil comes out super milky because water is somehow getting into the breather tube getting in there and then everything's a little milky so people will have mods for it blah 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 i didn't know this one had it i almost bought a mod but then i you know was looking there it is so i'm curious if it's milky or not if it is that'll kind of suck so talari didn't really improve it at all otherwise like i said there's like 50 dollar little mod things it's just like a little I assume three in tape, tube goes into like this kind of three print square type deal. And then just like a, a U shape, zigzag, blah, blah, blah. So water can't get into it and then get the, the gear oil all milky like it does before. So now we are ready. I have my, my little oil spill bucket. We're gonna pop the, the top fill off so the, it can breathe as everything's going down, go down faster, blah, blah, blah. And then yeah. Let's, let's get to it. First things first, we're gonna pop this fill, fill stick off. The dipstick, whatever you wanna call it. Ooh, yeah, she's, she's full of the brim. All right, now here is the semi-scary part. I've been told slash have seen on YouTube that Talaria puts Loctite on the drain plug from the factory. And it's very hard to get off. So it's either gonna be a blowtorch, well, actually, don't have to be a blowtorch because people are saying if you put like a breaker bar on there type stuff these kind of just snap off not cool so we'll see what happens and hopefully hopefully she'll, she'll be all right or i'll just get hammer i like hammer oh no torch needed Ooh. let me let me get you guys in a little closer that looks kind of milky to me I'm fairly certain it's supposed to be a semi-clearish liquid, right? Oh, uh, well, I'll see what, what uh, good old Google says. All right, toss this guy back in. Done dripping for the most part. Don't forget your washer. That'd kind of suck. Before we tighten her to spec, 
Let me put on front of this goop here quick. It's supposed to be 18 foot pounds, I believe. I'm just gonna kind of weigh it and go on the uh, the blue line. And it's there. I'm gonna give it an extra little tug though, since half these things come loose. Yeah, clean it up just a, just a tad more. And I'm gonna go see if I can't steal Rod Hurt from his nap times. So we gotta get the front tire up on there, and then you gotta balance it. You know what I'm saying? Just like that. Alrighty, now we put some oil in. Extra, extra slow though. Yeah, fellas, so you want the bike upwards a little bit. By a little bit, I mean a lot like this. Because the way the gearbox is situated, it'll help the, the oil kind of go in faster instead of clog up by the the hole up here. Are you having fun, Red Hurt? See. Is that your new favorite word? See. That's crazy, bro. I think she's done. Where's my, where's my thing? Get a little tight. Get this thing out of the way. Ugh. All right. You can toss her down now, I hope. Wow! Thanks for hurt. See. Obviously, I know it's not gonna be the cleanest in the world, but that's definitely like a watery, watery milk. I don't know if y'all can see. Yellowish clear. Darkish, not yellow. But yeah, it has been done. All right, party people. Everything is put back together. And according to Tolaria, we are good for another 3,100 miles. According to them, is the, the next kind of oil change for it. Of course, check every once in a while. Might have to top it off, who knows. But yeah, otherwise, kind of into the review section of what it's been like the first 200 miles here. My only gripe so far is of course, handlebars a tad low for me at least i'm um semi-tall i guess may or may not have new handlebars coming in do a little install video later otherwise the only other one i can think of is the pegs of all things it's like you'd think it comes with two options let me let me brighten this up for you fellas you can either put it in this back hole or this front hole that's crazy Loop that out. Naughty, naughty. Uh, ever since I added these new ones here, because the other ones are like literally, the stock ones are half of this size, not grippy at all. Uh, Q Alex falling off the bike, probably because of those. But yeah, these ones super grippy, super sharp, because they're just kind of like bolts sticking out, is what it is. But yeah, I wanted to move them a tad forward because uh i want to be like resting kind of on the front of my feet i'm kind of I'll, I'll, sh I'll show you what's going on i'm kind of crazy i want to be oh god i want my feet to kind of be situated like that so when i go off jumps i can kind of have my legs do all the, the work for me instead of hurting myself except naturally my legs kind of go here towards the back of my foot not cool so i'm like well let me just move it up the peg does not move up. There's the hole. I'll try and see if I can't find this for you. On both sides though, this part of the bracket hits the nut you need to put uh, the pegs in. So for me at least, I don't know if it's the same for all the Tolari people, it cannot move up because of this stupid bracket right here. Like, I tried everything. Me and Grandpa Terry, uh, well, I guess he did. He grinded them down, one fit. I'm like, well, I might just try and take the bracket off, see if I can't make it fit. They don't. They just don't. And it's like, it, kind of, it really sucks, because I think that extra, uh, I don't know, inch, inch maybe forward would really help uh, my, my foot positioning, but it just won't. I think now I might hop on the bike, maybe talk about the good things that I like, so you kind of show you things about the bike that I figured out and go for a little cruise. It's the UPS man. I know you're a really big gin guy. It's Deadpool flavored, bro. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday again. 
Everybody wish right her happy birthday in the comments. Touch my soul, touch my heart, don't judge my mental. They told me that life is simple, been real since pop my pimple. I saw that out in the rain, no sonata, no prison. Alright, what's up again, fellas? This is a future Lincoln. Hopefully you can actually hear me this time. I was editing the video and the mic was flapping outside of my helmet, so you definitely couldn't hear with all the wind. But uh, as long as everything sounds decent, I'll kind of get into the what it's been like to ride this sucker for the past couple weeks here. I think I'm up at like 300 miles now, which definitely isn't a whole lot, but it's enough to kind of give my initial thoughts on somebody who's never really like ridden dirt bikes or especially electric bikes. So far, this thing, guys, pretty fun for the average uh, person here. But yeah, so far, it's been super fun, just kind of hanging out with the buddies, going off little jumps here and there, having fun. But yeah, it's just I've ridden this thing to work a couple times. Gets me there like a minute slower than what my car does, so that's pretty cool. I only live like eight miles from my job, so it's nothing crazy. Back to my house, I'll still have like 47% usually. That's kind of what it's usually been, nothing crazy. This guy will average at like 50 miles an hour going to and from. Downhill, you can probably go like 55. Uh, uphill, as you can see right now, you probably can't see the screen because it's flashing so much. But going uphill, you'll probably slow down to like 40, depending on how crazy the hill is. Uh, as for the more extreme quote unquote side, I'm, I know I'm not very extreme when it comes to it, but going off jumps, this thing is handled it pretty good, especially for being completely stocked right now. Uh, as I said before, my only issues were kind of the pegs and the positioning. The newer ones, way fucking grippier. It's, it's no contest with the stock ones. The stock ones are absolutely horrible. They're probably fine if you're just, like, riding, riding throughout the city or something like that. But if you're going off jumps, you need that grip, because I'm pretty sure that's how Alex kind of dipped it. Battery. It'll last you anywhere from like 20 to 30 miles, depending on if you're just giving it the whole time. It's like, yeah, like I said, going to work, about 16, 17 miles, so I'll, I'll get down to 40, 45-ish percent. Not bad at all, if you ask me, especially for a stock battery. And that's just like full throttle the whole time. I'm not really letting go or anything. But uh, when, I, when I am running to work for, for the long distances, I'll have like the Regen 4 brakes on just to see if I can, you know, gain that extra percent or two along the way. I don't know if we can, I'll just let go of throttle. I was at 47, I'm down to 30 already, 32. It's really noticeable when you're going like, yeah, 30, I'm down to 20, 15. Yeah, it'll, it'll stop pretty good. And of course, if you don't want that, you just turn the, the regen all the way down to one. It doesn't really do nothing. Other than that, hope you all enjoy the video. Hit that good old like button, subscribe, comment. Let me know what, what your thoughts are, what you want me to do next, anything like that. Yeah, we'll see you next time. Peace. Residential speak once and listen twice. They told me that less is simple. I'm observing in the room. I'll be flying all on the wall. Open mouth conversations. I'll leave you all in some all. Cutting through the noise. I'm hoping I leave a scar. If you don't know where you've been, how you know where you are?